Hi everyone, my name is Vesile Yilmaz. I'm originally from Turkey. We moved to Australia in 2012 uh, with skilled migrant visa. And then three months ago, we moved to America. When I was in Turkey, uh, before we moved to Australia, I always searched the internet about the experiences of immigrants, how the life is in, in Australia, and I wanted to learn as much as I could before I go there. Now, after, uh, moving to, after moving to America, I started to reflect and think about my life back in Australia, and I wanted to rec record a couple of videos to share my experiences with you. The differences between Australia and America are a bit uh, complicated. It's hard to explain because many people ask us, why did you move to America? It was such a beautiful country um, where, where you lived, Australia, it's so beautiful. Why? Why on earth you moved to America? Of course, there are other things. There are uh, things that we have been through that made us take this step. But let me try to summarize uh, the di differences between two countries first. Living in Australia is so beautiful. It's a lovely place. It's an amazingly beautiful place. We had a house by the ocean and it was like a dream when we first got there from Istanbul, from that crowded city. America felt like paradise. Sorry, Australia felt like paradise beaches, playgrounds, parks, and wildlife, and outdoor activities, the sky, clean air, it's a really, really beautiful place. So 10 out of 10, nature in Australia is amazing. We lived in Western Australia, Perth, where uh, it's usually sunny and warm, you know, we, it never snows in winter, so it's a beautiful place. I don't know much about other parts of Australia, so whatever I say is all about Western Australia and Perth. America, we are here in Milwaukee. When I landed here, it was Christmas Day and it was minus 22. So oh, it wasn't a very pleasant experience, to be honest, but it is a really nice place too. We didn't have a lot of opportunities to be outdoors yet because the weather is usually cold. It's just starting to warm up and we are adjusting. So nature is here is also beautiful. But in terms of outdoor activities, of course, because of the weather, it's not um, as much as it used to be in Australia for people. There are not many opportunities to spend time outdoors. And also America doesn't look like a pedestrian pedestrian friendly country to me you need to have a car to get from places to places public transport not commonly used and it takes ages to get from somewhere to another and paths you know walking paths for for pedestrians it's it's not very um, well looked after so I must say, you, you need a car in America, but in Australia you can spend hours outdoors and enjoy all the beauties that nature offers. And Australia is a laid back country. People are very relaxed, it's stress free. They enjoy the life to the bits, like everything, everything is so peaceful there. America is very busy. People work hard and sometimes they work in two or three different jobs and it looks very, very busy when compared to Australia. But on the other hand, in Australia, you feel like you're isolated. You are somewhere that nobody's aware, like especially in Western Australia and Perth, you feel very, very lonely. It feels that you're far, so far away from everything's going on you, there's that feeling of missing out it's always there like you look at yourself on the uh, you look at your position on the map and say really what am i doing here perth is called lonely city and yeah it feels lonely sometimes and um, in america on the other hand you feel like 
the heart of the world is beating here. Like you are in the center of the universe. You have access to everything. You can contact with any people, you know. It is it is full of full of opportunities and life runs uh, really fast and wild like it's never boring it is exciting to be honest it is nice and healthcare in Australia it is cheaper you don't pay anything when you go to a bulk built GP but here you have to pay a really really big amount to get covered by a major healthcare plan on the other hand cost of living in australia the rents and you know groceries and everything is much much more expensive than here in america especially you know real estate prices are ridiculously high but in america it's much more affordable and there in america there's something for every budget so it, you can really buy anything you wish you know just the quality differs and yeah america is much more affordable in that sense and why did we come to america we we won the lottery um green card lottery for diversity visa and we were already australian citizens in australia and we thought if we don't take this chance we might lose in in future even if we wanted to move to america it would be really difficult so we we bought a house in australia and we took i took leave from my work and i wanted to give it a go i wanted to try how the life is here in america and if things don't work out for us we we could always go back so we moved to america three months ago at the moment i am just learning i'm adjusting it is it is nice but at the same time it's a bit difficult but when I look at my own experience when I was in Australia I see something very different in Australia for immigrants it's really really hard to find a job that matches your skills and qualifications especially if you're an over overseas uh, trained professional when you go to Australia you have to start from scratch nobody really cares how much effort you put to finish that master's or diploma or doctorate degree people expect you to have australian degrees and they expect you to have local experience you, you you've just moved to australia as a skilled migrant you literally arrived two weeks ago and people reject you because you don't have local experience like come on really somebody has to have somebody has to take that first step and give me a job so that I can have local experience it is really really hard for immigrants to find to find their first job when you find the job then the rest comes easily but that first couple of months where you, you where people reject you you apply and you're sure that you can do that job but people don't trust you it really hurts it leaves scars on your soul that's sad but true so also uh, sometimes I don't know if it's true if it's the real reason that you are rejected but sometimes they tell you oh you're overqualified for this job I know many people who deleted masters or other degrees from their CVs just because they didn't want to seem overqualified but in America it is really really easy to find a job and it's it happens very quickly people have people give you a chance they don't hesitate they're much more open-minded in Perth that's where we lived uh, for five years in Perth you feel like an immigrant you, you it takes time for you to feel that you belong there you are a part of that community they are not as good as Americans to make you feel you are in you you belong america is much more open-minded in terms of greeting immigrants i don't know at the moment news might tell you the opposite but this is my own experience also in australia people are very very kind and they 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 
they smile and they look friendly all the time but inside or behind the behind somewhere in their minds or in their souls you can feel like they feel like, uh, they make they treat you like you are a guest there or you came from another country and you bother them sometimes sometimes you can meet with some wonderful people but there are also some people who who kind of give you secret signals or messages that that's just intimidating that they make you feel that you don't belong there it is sad because we leave our country behind to contribute to another country use our skills in in a in an efficient way but then they waste your skills they waste your time they waste your energy in america in america if you have the skills if you can show people that you do that job if you show that you're passionate determined and you are a good fit that job for that job they don't think twice they don't look at your nationality that's what my experience is you knock the doors and they open as long as you are passionate you really want to want to do that job but in america for immigrants their passport overseas qualifications even sometimes their names can be a barrier between them and the job it is it is a sensitive issue to talk about but that's my experience and I just wanted to share it with you I'm going to be with you with other videos and I will I will explain you how how we're doing here in America so hope to see you in the next video thanks for watching bye